2017, Muhammad Qasim saw that Israel builds a brown-colored building in Palestine. Muslims protest, but to no avail, and the building goes to completion. In February 2017, Muhammad Qasim also saw in a dream an alliance meeting between USA, Israel, and India, where the PM of India, Narendra Modi, says, I have spread destruction in Kashmir the same way Israel did in Palestine. Then in March 2017, Muhammad Qasim saw the Israel PM, Benjamin Netanyahu, say, I have almost completed the temple of the Dajjal, Antichrist, and soon only the name of Palestine will be left. What events we have seen unfold since this dream include the removal of Palestine from global maps of Google and Apple, uh, Jerusalem being recognized globally as the capital of Israel, which was in 6th of December 2017, and most recently aggressive annexation efforts and military aggression against the people of Palestine. Similarly, on October 9, 2017, Muhammad Qasim saw a premonition of an earthquake to come that will destroy world economy. He saw that an earthquake comes in waves, with the subsequent one stronger than the precedent. This leads to a destruction of world economies, and some countries collapse beyond recovery. Symbolic to a natural disaster today, we see coronavirus has brought similar impact to global economies. With the multiple waves of mutations, one after another, many countries are now showing signs of collapse, the rising debt, and economic disaster following a COVID recession. With rising food inflation, loss of income, and financial collapse, poorer countries face a more difficult recovery track. This is only if the world has battled out of COVID, for which today we do not have any clarity. On a micro level, Mohammed Qasim has also seen events in his dreams that have translated to the current situation of Pakistan and its PM Imran Khan. In 2018 and 19, Mohammed Qasim saw that Imran Khan will continue to campaign and introduce plans in Pakistan, but he will continue to struggle and fail. He also saw that Imran Khan continues to focus on debt and accountability and loses focus on prices and inflation in Pakistan. And soon this inflation reaches a point where Imran himself cannot do anything to fix the situation. In 2020 and 21, Muhammad Qasim saw further dreams about Imran Khan and Pakistan have come true exactly as he had seen them. In fact, Muhammad Qasim saw exact phrases in his dreams that were later said by Imran Khan in his speeches. Or we have to come to see this in the news and this is truly fascinating. In the next video, I will talk more about the spirituality of dreams and the divine nature of Muhammad Qasim's dreams. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Asalaamu Alaikum.